Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza chiladas, which are basically pizza filled enchiladas in a casserole. So you're going to need a half a pound, which is 227 grams, of raw Italian sausage. Now you can have it loose bulk sausage or you can have it in casings. We're just going to strip the casings off of these. Uh, you're also going to need a half a pound, which is 227 grams, of pepperoni slices and that'll be divided. Two cups of a low carb pasta sauce or I'm using a Posada cooking sauce, anything with no sugar in it would be great. A half a pound, 227 grams, of ham cubed or I've got it in shreds here, that should work just fine too. And then you'll need a half a cup, which is about 56.8 grams, of real bacon bits. Half teaspoon of crushed red chili flakes. And then it calls for a couple different kinds of cheeses, so you need like three quarter pound, which is about 340.5 grams of a low moisture mozzarella shredded. And then you also need two cups or 200 grams of Parmesan cheese, which is grated and divided. This pizza blend is actually a mix of mozzarella and Parmesan with a little bit of cheddar thrown in. So I'm just gonna use that for all of the cheese. You can use whatever you like. Then you need 12 low carb crepes. Now you can, this is from the recipe I posted last time. You can use those or your own favorite low carb crepe recipe, or you could use low carb tortillas. All of those substitutions, of course, would change the stats and the carbs. Uh, and then lastly, you need some salt and pepper. So if your sausage is in casings like mine, remove that first. We want this to be loose meat. So I've got this frying pan heating over medium high heat and I'm just gonna go ahead and add our sausage meat. So you just wanna kinda of break that up as it cooks, just as if it were ground beef or something like that. Now while that's cooking, I'm just gonna chop the pepperoni. Now just half the pepperoni, so reserve half of it and the remaining I'm gonna chop up into smaller pieces. I'm just cutting once through the middle and then twice the other direction, you do whatever works for you. Now that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna set that aside for a few minutes to cool a little bit and preheat my oven. You're gonna want it at 400 Fahrenheit, which is 204 Celsius. Now mine's um, fan forced, so I'm gonna have it about 20 degrees lower than that. In a mixing bowl or any large bowl like this, you're gonna mix your cooked sausage with just the chopped pepperoni. We're saving that reserved other half of the pepperoni. So just the chopped pepperoni is going in and your ham, and your bacon bits. I'm just gonna give that a little stir before we add the other stuff. Now to that, we're gonna add half a cup of your low carb pasta sauce, and then half of each of your cheeses. So that's both the mozzarella and the Parmesan. Just half of that. And mix that all together well. Now we'll add our half teaspoon of the red chili flakes. And just salt and pepper to taste. You wouldn't really need much salt in this given the cheese and the meats that are already in there. But I might give it an extra kick of pepper. Just stir that through again. And then we're ready to start filling our crepes. Yeah, you're just gonna divide your filling evenly amongst all the crepes. So I've just spread them out and I'll just start by scooping the filling in. And keep going till you've got it evenly divided. Right down the middle, kind of in a line. So once you've got your filling all divided, you're just going to take these, leave them open-ended, and just sort of wrap it around and roll it over tightly like a little tube. And just keep going like that till you've got them all rolled. Now you'll spread half a cup of your pasta sauce on the bottom of a pan. Just using a standard, I guess, 9 by 13 pan it is here. And we'll just spread that out to kind of cover as much we can on the bottom. Now we're just going to carefully lay each one of these in here. Let's try to go this way. And just pack them in. Might need to be a little tight to fit them, but they should fit. Okay, so you can see I did get them in there. It's a little tight. You just have to squish everything to get them in, but they did all fit. Any toppings that followed along the way, I just tossed them back on top there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of our sauce and just sort of evenly pour that around. Now the recipe says to put the remaining pepperoni slices evenly over the top first, followed by the cheese. I kind of think it'd be nicer to put the pepperoni on top so it might get a little crispier in the oven. It's only gonna be in for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the cheese on first that we'd reserved. And we'll just go ahead and lay the pepperoni slices out evenly over the top of that. Now 
now we're just going to pop this in our preheated oven for about 20 minutes. Oh, that is looking really good. It's starting to get a little golden brown on top. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Doesn't that look good? Um, now you can tell it's really hot. It's sizzling. So I'm just going to leave that sit for a few minutes before I cut it. So there it is. Pizza chaladas or pizza enchiladas if you prefer. This is really, really tasty, so do give it a try.